Richard E. Harrison. Richard Harrison was born in Dewajek, Michigan on July 2, 1922. He loved flying from an early age, but Dewajek did not have an airport. He took flying lessons 12 miles away in Niles, a distance he sometimes covered by bicycle. Harrison received his student certificate in September of 1942 and first soloed on October 6th of that same year. Harrison entered military service in November 1942. A private first class after basic training, he was promoted to corporal upon completion of his training as a technician at Lincoln Army Air Base Training School in Lincoln, Nebraska. He served with the U.S. Army Air Corps in Tuskegee, Alabama from 1943 to 1946. He was both a technician and, because of his prior flight training, a flight instructor. At Tuskegee, he flew and taught others how to fly in the Beechcraft AT-10, the Piper L-4 Cub, the Piper J-3 Cub, and the North American TB-25J and B-25J Mitchell Medium Bomber. The last flight recorded in his log was a B-25 flight on February 11, 1946, from Godman Army Airfield near Fort Knox, Kentucky, to Tuskegee Army Airfield in Alabama. After military service, he was employed as a company pilot at Rudy Manufacturing in Dwajak, flying a Navion single-engine airplane and a Beechcraft twin-engine airplane throughout the Midwest. He was also active in the Civil Air Patrol, and it was said he would teach anyone how to fly. Harrison passed away in Detroit in 1965. Harrison was posthumously awarded the Congressional Gold Medal in honor of the Tuskegee Airmen at the U.S. Capitol on March 29, 2007. The Congressional Gold Medal is the nation's top civilian award presented to those individuals who embody the best quality in America's heritage and can only be awarded through an act of Congress signed into law by the President. Richard E. Harrison is enshrined in the Michigan Aviation Hall of Fame for his special role in teaching and supporting the American military's first African-American airmen and for his lifelong career in aviation in the state of Michigan.